The Starship's future in Texas is in jeopardy. After investing millions in the local infrastructure, creating thousands of jobs, and building a state-of-the-art rocket factory, SpaceX may be forced to abandon it all and move to a new location due to the constant environmental constraints facing the company. But what are the alternatives? Let's talk about all the issues facing SpaceX in Texas and where they could potentially relocate if things do not change. In June 2022, SpaceX successfully overcame a major obstacle in its mission to launch the Starship, the most powerful rocket in the world. This achievement came when the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, provided environmental clearance for orbital launches from SpaceX's site in South Texas. The decision, which was announced after several months of delay and debate, necessitated a series of actions to minimize the impact on the public beaches and wildlife surrounding SpaceX's private spaceport located at Boca Chica Beach, just 20 miles east of Brownsville, Texas. Now, almost a year later, SpaceX faces a similar challenge. On April 20th, during the inaugural test flight of the Starship, a significant explosion occurred just four minutes after liftoff. This incident prompted a comprehensive investigation conducted by the FAA. Furthermore, environmental groups took legal action against the FAA, alleging that they had prematurely approved the ill-fated launch. After the Starship's liftoff, wildlife officials meticulously surveyed the site, revealing concrete fragments scattered across the area and substantial craters in the tidal flats, some as deep as a foot. The subsequent report detailed the severe environmental impact, including the burning of approximately four acres of the nearby Texas State Park. Tragically, the launch led to the incineration of a group of blue land crabs and seven bobwhite quail eggs. The explosion during the launch scattered debris over a vast area spanning 385 acres. Concrete fragments were propelled as far as 2,680 feet away from the launch pad, sparking a fire that covered three and a half acres. Concerns had been voiced for years regarding the proximity of SpaceX's rocket base to endangered species, including a nesting beach for loggerhead sea turtles. Following this incident, SpaceX implemented several changes to its launch infrastructure to enhance the environmental safety of the surrounding area. Despite these upgrades, there was hope that the Starship could resume launches soon. However, this optimism has dimmed due to a potential requirement for another programmatic environmental assessment requested by the FAA. This assessment might postpone the launch until next spring. Additionally, the FAA emphasized the necessity for consultation with the US Fish and Wildlife Service, a new requirement that could further impact the timeline. Consequently, SpaceX has not yet been granted a launch license for Starship's proposed second flight. The recent challenges have sparked a debate about the future of Starship in Texas, raising questions about whether SpaceX should consider relocating its production to a different location. In 2011, at a glass-walled conference room in SpaceX's California headquarters, CEO Elon Musk expressed interest in constructing the world's first commercial rocket launch pad in Texas. To entice Musk, state officials offered significant financial incentives, granting him about $20 million. Laws were modified, including provisions to close public beaches during launches and legal safeguards against noise complaints. The question of why Texas leaders staunchly support SpaceX revolves around the significant benefits the state has reaped from the partnership. Elon Musk, with his significant wealth and influence, has transformed Texas dramatically. In 2014, he chose Texas as the base for his SpaceX South Texas launch site, specifically near Boca Chica Beach, which was then home to pristine beaches and a small community of around 40 homes. In recent years, SpaceX's impact on Texas has been substantial. According to a recent economic study, the company invested $430 million in operations in Cameron County just last year. This investment covered various aspects, including payroll, construction, and capital improvements. Notably, SpaceX contributed $885 million to Cameron County's gross economic output, fostering continued job growth in the region. The company has become the largest private employer, employing 1,600 people, with 71% of them from the Rio Grande Valley. Within Brownsville city limits, SpaceX has made significant strides. The company occupies at least 46,000 square feet at the Brownsville Aerospace Industrial Park, located within the Brownsville South Padre Island International Airport. SpaceX invested half a million dollars to renovate and upgrade this facility. Recently, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has urged the state legislature to allocate $350 million to establish and support a Texas Space Commission over the next two years. This proposed commission would concentrate on developing policies and coordinating a statewide strategy. Its primary functions would involve monitoring local, state and federal policies, identifying opportunities and creating an economic ecosystem conducive to the growth of space-related enterprises in Texas. The proposed commission would consist of 15 members, including appointees from political officials and one representative from SpaceX. Despite the generally positive relationship between SpaceX and the Texas government, their collaboration may be at risk of coming to an end due to the ongoing environmental lawsuit. 
In 2022, Elon Musk mentioned that SpaceX's flagship launch complex, 39A, at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, could serve as an alternative to Texas if a more extensive environmental assessment of Starbase was required. He stated that eventually, this site would become Starship's primary operational launch site. However, this location is also under its own environmental review process. NASA officials expressed concerns about the potential impact of a Starship explosion on LC-39A, which SpaceX uses for Falcon 9 astronaut launches. Such an incident could damage infrastructure crucial for sending NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. To address these worries, SpaceX is preparing a different launch pad on US Space Force property, specifically for astronaut launches. Additionally, SpaceX has been considering another launch site at the Kennedy Space Center for future Starship launches, known as LC-49, located a few miles away from LC-39A. However, this location is also currently undergoing a lengthy environmental review that might extend over several years. SpaceX faces limitations at the US Space Force's Vandenberg Spaceport in California, where they operate two Falcon launch pads. Analysts have pointed out that Vandenberg's specific launch trajectory is unsuitable for Starship test launches. Furthermore, the Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, another potential location for Starship development, is considered too small for SpaceX's ambitious program. Analysts have noted that relocating to Wallops would trigger additional environmental reviews due to the presence of protected lands in the surrounding area. According to Michael Milling, an investor from Georgia who was engaged in establishing a spaceport in his home state, it's highly unlikely for a new operational spaceport to emerge in the United States unless there are significant environmental changes or a specific community expresses a strong desire to have a spaceport in their vicinity. A case in point is Spaceport Camden, an orbital launch site proposed earlier, which faced opposition leading to its cancellation through a local referendum. Concerns about its environmental impact raised during a lawsuit led to the project being scrapped. SpaceX had ambitious plans in 2020 to repurpose two offshore oil rigs into ocean spaceports for Starship launches, as stated by Elon Musk. However, in February, SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell revealed that the company had sold these rigs because they were not suitable for their intended purpose. A potential solution to the challenges faced by SpaceX could be if Congress decided to waive the requirement for environmental reviews in cases where project delays were deemed a national concern. This scenario is not unprecedented, as Congress has previously passed laws overriding environmental review requirements. For instance, last year, Congress mandated the Biden administration to issue specific oil and gas leases in the Gulf of Mexico, bypassing the usual environmental review process. In this context, given NASA's urgent plans for a moon landing by 2026, a deadline emphasized by NASA's chief, Bill Nelson, to lawmakers as a critical race against China, there could be political will to prioritize national interests and expedite the approval process for SpaceX's Starship program. If Congress intends to interject, they must do it fast as every day the Starship is delayed. China gains even more ground in the race to the moon. If the Starship falls too far behind, the consequences will be dire for not only SpaceX, but also the entire US. Do you think Congress will step in and help ease regulations for SpaceX? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.